Today we're checking out some of the best new resources and tools for UX UI designers of the month August. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. The first one we're taking a look at is called Figma Components. And this will be one of the most useful libraries if you use a tool like Figma. They have hundreds, if not thousands of examples of UI designs, patterns, etc., all combined into one site. And it's so easy to replicate in Figma. For example, I really like this calendar design right here. I click on it and I say copy to clipboard. Now, whichever design tool you like, specifically Figma, just say command V or control V, it copies it into Figma and it has all the auto layout intact, all the groups intact, all the colors and everything intact. And there's something I didn't know we could do in Figma, was just copy and paste from the internet. I think that's a new thing in general and this can be really helpful for everybody. Apart from that, it has categorized everything into different uh, pattern libraries or under different categories. So you have iOS, website, light or dark mode, you have mockups, you have screen, you have landing page. So an all in one tool to help you copy and paste pre-made thumbnails, templates, UI designs, UX designs, all into your favorite design tool. Apart from all these hundreds of categories, they also have something for Webflow. So it takes you to another website from this website and you can find clonable elements for Webflow. You just copy and paste it into your Webflow project and that's it. And just like the previous example, this has a lot of categories, options, as well as different patterns that you can reuse in your designs. Apart from this, they also have something for Tailwind UI. So if you're someone who uses Tailwind, this will be a really cool platform to be on. Now, Mid Journey is the tool of your dreams as well as your nightmares. Why? Because this is an AI based tool which helps you create graphics, designs, art, realistic 3D material, etc. using just an AI. And how does it work? Well, you either join the beta or you sign in with your Discord. And once you log in into Discord, you'll be able to just put in a prompt. For example, if you type in anything, type in YouTube on steroids and you'll find YouTube, which is on steroids. Then you can download that artwork as either a upscaled image or just a normal image. And then you can retry it as many times as you like. Now, my fellow YouTuber Piximperfect did a complete review of this tool and how to get started. I think AI is going to take over a lot of artistic expression and this is a big deal this year. Try out Mid Journey, all the crazy stuff it can do and maybe even try out stuff for UI designs, etc. This is this is crazy. Locofy is a relatively new tool which allows you to convert your Figma or sketch designs into an actual live website or application. So you can have a React application or React native application or an HTML or CSS website. And as you can see, it has a nice little interface which allows you to just either drag and drop ready-made components or give your current components actual activity or action. So for example, you've created a form. You can convert that form into an actual functional form on a website or an application using their plugin. And it's actually super simple. Once you import your designs into that tool, it's very easy to link, say, an input to the input function. So now your input design is converted into a functional input field. So it's actually pretty simple and straightforward to understand. And with its drag and drop components, and it's super easy to just set up everything without having to learn a new scale or a tool. Also, it has support for things like Airtable, MySQL, Microsoft Excel. So it can update data from your backend and then put it into this application. I want to honestly do a full tutorial on this tool and how easy it is to use and it's free. So you can start using it for free. And before you even try it out, they have an entire library where they've created a bunch of applications and websites which you can try out, which are made using Locofy. So that'll be a nice little introduction to the tool itself. Now we've seen a lot of tools out there that cut out the image from the background, but ClipDrop is doing it slightly differently. I'm gonna try out ClipDrop for you guys so that you can see what I really mean by all the features that. Now, instead of having the usual features, it actually has four unique features. One is the remove background which like any other tool removes the background quite accurately I might suggest then it has a mode called decompose what it does is it removes the image from its background like this and so now you can just remove this plant around and fix it wherever you like so decompose mode is really cool it also has something called clean up and what it does it 
takes a picture and it basically improves anything it removes any uh distractions from the background it removes um, any blemishes or uh any pimples or whatever you know, so it's a, like a little clean up feature like you find in photoshop also you can upscale to 2x that means you that means if a photo is in 1080p it will now be upscaled to a resolution of twice that now this next one is cool but it's restricted only to Mac users out there. It's called Design Maestro and there's some there's a tool called Keyboard Maestro for Mac and ba it basically allows for custom shortcuts and automation on your Mac. It allows you to pick up pick up colors, it allows you to pick brand assets, it allows you to optimize images, remove backgrounds, etc. So basically a shortcuts trigger only for designers made by designers. And the best part is it's zero dollars. So Keyboard Maestro uh, has a free trial. You can try it out if you like it. You can continue with it. And Design Maestro is an extension for Keyboard Maestro. So I think this is a really cool extension you should try out. And basically it's improving cre creativity and productivity for designers. So that's the aim. You can read all about it in the link below. Now this next one is not a tool, but a learning resource. It's called the history of user interfaces. And it basically allows you to look at the entire history of user interface design from 1973 to, till date. So it starts from your Xerox systems. Uh, it then moves on to your Apple computers, the first Apple computers. Then it goes on to all the interface designs for different applications for those early computers. It also has Windows 1. So the first Windows, screenshots of Windows 1 and how UI worked on Windows 1. So basically an entire history of design since the beginning of electronics or interfaces in general. I think a really cool resource to just have fun and read through the, the entire history. Now Animockups is a tool that I've mentioned many times before, but it has a lot of new features they've introduced. The first feature is that you can now create for individual posts on LinkedIn, Instagram. It will fit your designs according to that. It also has a slew of new devices. So the Apple Watch comes to mind. It also has a lot of new animation styles. So basically all the different animations that you can play around with. And this is a really cool uh, tool or resource for a lot of you trying it out. This is Animockups 2.0. The one I reviewed earlier is 1.0. So a lot of cool new features, a lot of much needed improvements have been made to this. Also now you can export in WebM MP4 animated GIF. It also allows you to change the frame rates and everything, remove the watermark. You can increase or decrease the quality of this post and you can just quickly go ahead and download it instantly. A similar tool is made by an individual designer called Moku. Uh, allows you to add your designs to pre-made mock-up, animated mock-up designs. So basically you just have to say get started, no login, no paying anything. You just choose one of these right here and you can basically just add a video or a UI mockup inside this and it will just fit very well. It also has background sounds and audio to kind of play around with. The only thing that is missing now is customizability. So this is a pre-made tool. I wish it also had a little more customizability for background sounds, animations, etc. But apart from that, it allows you to quickly render the video and within a few seconds, the download gets ready and you can just download it as an MP4 for now. Hopefully the designer adds support for things like WebM or GIF. I hope you liked that video. If you did, I would much appreciate a like on this on this video. And also I come up with such content every single week. So it's best you just get subscribed. It's free and it'll help you stay up to date with UX and UI design every week. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.